part of this video is going to be more of an unboxing and first impression also a little history of me and then the latter part will be once the results come back at this point in the movie there's supposed to be this big deep insightful look into my background and the history of myself and what I've been told growing up and everything in great detail I went ahead and cut all that out because it went into a bunch of emotional stuff that really wound up not meaning anything and you'll figure out why by the end of this video um, in a nutshell, uh, adopted in Houston, private agency, through church, sealed records, no history of parents other than what was on birth certificate, uh, raised my entire life being told from what little record that I was given from uh, the agency or wherever information could be pulled from that I was native. That's what I grew up being told, that's what I grew up and learned the history of, that's the racial identity that I grew up with, and the culture that I studied and became part of, and uh, yeah, so skip the unboxing. So uh, go ahead and switch the camera around where you can see the box now, and then we'll unbox this. So this is the uh, 23andMe Saliva Collection Kit. On the front, it just says, welcome to you. Uh, on the side, it reminds you to register your kit. And then on the back, learn what your DNA says about you, register your kit. Step one, go online, register. Two, spit, follow kit instructions, spit in the tube provided, mail it back to our lab, prepaid label. And three, discover as we analyze your sample, we will send you an email to let you know reports are ready on your online account, log in and start discovering what DNA uh, says about you. And then apparently there's also an app for uh, Crapple and uh, Android. Uh, contents it says in the kit, one step-by-step -step instructions, one saliva collection tube and cap, uh, one sample return bag, one prepaid return label and box not for resale, a little warning and precautions there. And it looks like there's an ID number on this side. box inside of a sleeve it opens up you notice right here it says peel here peel here peel here I'm um, guessing that's just because it's gonna be the box that we send it back in hi let's get started uh, share your experience 23andme at hashtag we are excited for you to begin this journey and we want you to know we are here to help whether it's questions about service on how to get started we have resources available to help you and it gives their address and phone number register this kit now 23andme.com to start sample will not be processed unless it's registered And then there on the inside of that, you can tell that there is a general mouth swab kit. Uh, looks like something similar that taken for testing before jobs before. On the inside of the box here, some warnings that it gives is no food or drink for 30 minutes, spit to fill the line, close the funnel, Detach funnel, screw on cap, seal in bag, mail in kit. Okay, well, I already haven't ate or drinking. Drinking. <laughs> I already haven't ate or had anything to drink for about an hour now at this point. Um, yeah, so I guess I can go ahead and do this. 
I will leave out the uh, spitting part just because I feel like that might be a little bit cringy for some people. Okay, so you'll see that when you fill it, there's a fill line on there. But uh, you don't have to fill this entire thing up. There's actually a little cap where it stops right about there. So it's just that small little space right there. Uh, you can kind of tell there's liquid in the, uh, the top of it right there. So the next thing you have to do is close it. And you snap it shut. So as you can see, once you close the lid, the liquid from the upper compartment actually will drop down into the lower compartment. So, next thing our instructions say, to take our cap, we're going to unscrew this. lid on. Let's flush like that. Comes with a bio bag. Ah. <sighs> I cannot explain how much my stomach is turning at doing this right now. Like, just the sheer nervousness of it all. Okay, here you go and seal that. And then we seal the back. Okay. As you'll see on the box from the slit uh, that comes out of the insert from the one that gets mailed to you, um, this one has the return label address on it. What you're going to do is take your sample bag, throw it back in the box like that, you're going to close it, peel off a little strip right there, and that's it. Thing we have to do is go drop in the mail. Now I gotta wait. And then in this part, there was like this whole continuation of this cute little montage of going through emails and everything that they send you and just rack your anxiety up with like every two or three days saying, oh, you know, your results are almost done, but they put it in the subject line so it cuts off so it's like your results are dot dot dot. And, uh, and they say, but hey, go ahead and sign back on the site and answer these questions about your history or whatever. And then Anyways, uh, let me think, 16 days, 17 days, it was, they said that it was projected to take, no that's not right, they said it was projected to take like, 6 to 8 weeks I think, and I got results back in 4 and a half, and then I didn't read them for 3 days because I knew that I was going to have like this awesome weekend, and uh, it was awesome, still is, I'm not letting this ruin it. And, um, yeah, so, here's the next part. So getting into this whole ugly mess, European 68.5%, uh, now this is where everybody gets all in an uproar and says, oh, I have Viking blood, but no, it's... British and Irish are descended from Celtic, Saxon, and Viking, which doesn't necessarily mean that they are of that blood, at least 
I don't think so. I'm probably wrong. I don't know. I don't know anything about European history, culture, anything like that. I just go to Ren Fair for the mead. Um, but yeah, British and Irish, and then French and German, Iberian, Scandinavian, Balkan, Finnish, broadly Northwestern European. Uh, French and German people. Why do they put it in quotations? I don't get that. But anyways, uh, descended from Alpine Celtic and Germanic populations. So uh, a lot of what I noticed from the information that they gave me is it ties back to going between like uh, France, Germany, uh, Ireland, Norway, Southern Europe. Uh, in the secondary part, there is Sub-Saharan African, uh, West African, 26.6%. Didn't see that one coming. Um, not complaining. Uh, I would have rather have that been the 68% than European, but I can't change it. Uh, African hunter-gatherer, East African, uh, broadly sub-Saharan African. And then the whole thing that I was hoping to confirm because of what I had been told what I was my entire life and what I was brought up to believe and all those wonderful great little things that I cut out probably like two and a half hours out of this video of explaining my history of was Native American, which they grouped together with East Asian because there's not even an entire percent going into Native American. Combined, it's 1.3 percent. Albeit, I spent the last 34 years thinking that this is where that bar would be, but instead I've got Ren Faire up here, I've got camping? I don't know. That's yeah, I, I think that's a safe thing to say. Like, camping. Like, outdoor living. Yeah. And then everything that I thought my entire life is down here in this little 0.8%. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, it's... Fucking horrible. This is... This is a fucking nightmare. This is everything that, like... This is the exact opposite of what I wanted my results to be. And, uh, Jesus. I mean, this, this is like the third or fourth time I've tried to record this, and it's just because, like, I just get in these long pauses where it's, like, a horrible car wreck that you drive by, that you slow down when you drive by, because, you know, you should just mind your business, but you want to stop and look. And it's like, each time you go down this list, it just gets worse. And it's not even the fact of, like, uh, how everything I was told was wrong, and my whole identity was wrong, and everything I thought was wrong. Like, I've got to completely redo my entire garb, my entire everything for Ren Faire now, and with limited time, and that's not fucking cheap. Um, not only that, but I mean... At least with, you know, Native Americans and anything in Western civilization, it has such a short history, it wasn't a lot of information to learn. Getting into European nations and everything, like, they go back thousands of years. This is so much stuff that I have to study now. And I'm trying to stay lighthearted about it. I mean, I still have some vodka left, but... Well, that's gone. I'm gonna have to deal with this in like 3D, and that's gonna suck. I don't know. Just... I wonder if they put this little banner out up here as something to click on, just because they know that, like, hey, you probably just had like your whole self-image shattered. Let's see some funny soccer shit. See what that's about. Oh, and look at that. They match you for World Cup teams. 
based on where your background is from and had it been what I thought mine was then I guess there's not a a native team for the World Cup but uh, there's England which apparently is my team now so go England Englandites or whatever the fuck your team is named Uh, maternal haplogroup H6A1A. Uh, all these things do is they basically tell you from your maternal side and your paternal side uh, the lineage through migration, I guess is the way to say it, uh, where they originated from and where they branched out to. Uh, H6A1A is relatively uncommon among 23andMe customers, 1 in 3200. Uh, it's been found in the remains of the Yaman... Yamanaya? Sounds like a Pokemon. Um, basically these people were cattle herders and they were the first to domesticate horses. Um, Uh, they brought about a political system. Of course, they did. They were English. Uh, yeah. And then looking at paternal EU two ninety. Uh, pretty common. One in two hundred and sixty. Uh, Men bearing the haplogroup EM4254 were carried to the Bahamas in the transatlantic slave trade. Trade uh, is seen in moderate frequencies on the Bahamian islands of Abaco. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Grand Bahama. Um, yeah, I don't know. Somewhere else, they're probably going to build a sandal someday. Um, uh, Creole slaves, 25% of the slaves transported to the Bahamas during the slave trade were from West and Central Africa, which is consistent with the most common location of your haplogroup. So, looking into that, um, so, mother's side was migratory that went up into Europe and didn't get traded, and father got traded. That's interesting now per being adopted this was the one part that was interesting to me was your uh, DNA family other people that submit their information to this site can put themselves on basically public and then it will freely match that to anybody else that is on public and notify them that you have enough whatever of your DNA matching to suspect uh, kinship of which I never knew if I had any whatsoever and in Texas alone there are 70 six of which are uh, that's just the breakdown of what everybody that was brought in uh, my DNA relatives are more likely to have red body or facial hair uh, can do side splits, have worn braces. Uh, I, I, I cannot do a side split, and I probably needed braces. Less likely to make New Year's resolutions. I don't believe in them. 40% more likely to drink caffeinated soda. I'm definitely in that 40%. Uh, when you go to the DNA relatives tool, it will actually bring up this frightening list of all of these people that you have never heard of before and yeah anything with a dot is somebody that is sharing that you can try and ping and open up conversation with and it shows like your percentage it's shared, how many segments um, like these 
first four or first cousins, according to them, or at least the possibility of it. And of course, that can also be cousins removed. Um, but still, I mean, that's it's it's a scary thing. Like this one, we predict Lindsay Rab is your first cousin. Like. So this means that the parent that I don't know of, that we share grandparents, so if I can contact this person to figure out who this person is, then they can lead me to this person who can tell me who these people are, and then that opens up a pathable, a pathable, a possible path to identifying my parents. Which at this point point I just want to fucking smash with a goddamn shovel because you just bubbled in whatever you wanted to at a hospital one day and let somebody believe a bunch of crap their entire life till they got a kit in the mail and decided to figure out that it was all bullshit. Uh, 226 Neanderthal variants, uh, that's a very low uh, variant count and then beyond that it just goes into asking you a bunch of survey questions to try and better match you uh, to other possible relatives or either that or just gain information for whoever else they share your information with uh, there's a bunch of other tools on here and everything else um, I'm not gonna go into all that right now but yeah one last look at the car wreck Oh, and there it is. So it's July, August, September, October. So I've got two months to stop being salty about this and about a month to make new garb and everything for Renfair and new characters and backstories and everything. It's like it doesn't matter how fast I scroll up and down it or whatever, like the numbers don't change, it's not like an etch sketch, I just want to do this and like make it go away, but it's just not going away. <laughs> Fuck. So I guess my final thought on it is, I can't really complain about the actual kit itself. Uh, everything is as advertised, the website is very clean and easy to navigate, everything happened within the time frame or sooner than anything said it would be shipped or results would come back in. Uh, service has been really good. I haven't had a reason to contact customer service, but I don't feel that I doubt that they wouldn't be just as helpful as everything else has been with it so far. Uh, the only complaint I had were what the actual results were, and I mean, me not being happy with them aren't the result of uh, 23andMe or you know anybody they're affiliated with uh, that's just my misinformation and my bad luck so all that being said uh, this has been a rough little experience so uh, make my day a little bit better and hit subscribe like this share it I mean it's not a happy story but maybe you know somebody that can have a laugh at it so uh, either way, just hit the buttons, uh, hit notifications. I do post pretty much about nothing with an actual theme. Uh, you can tell if you go through the rest of my channel. So uh, subscribe, like, thanks for watching.